Hello! We are live. I'm hoping everybody can see me. Shoshi from Shoshi's Magnificent Minis. I'm painting the butcher. I have a different camera angle today, so I'm hoping that this works for you guys. I've got a little Peely Bopper just so that I know where to put my mini. Right there. All right. <laughs> Good morning, Shoshi Mama. Good morning, Shadow Claimer. Loot Crate shirt, yes. I am a nerd. I have to have my loot crate. All right, we actually unsubscribed recently. Not recently, but a while back. Cause, um, I don't know. I, I think that there was other crates out there that had shirts every single time. It was cool. Okay. No Bronco head. <laughs> yeah, well, that doesn't mean that the Bronco fan isn't inside. Um. <laughs> Um, before I start, I wanted to explain what OSL is for anybody who has not heard that term or knows what that means. OSL means off source lighting. And I'm going to just point out where's my brush? Here we go. So we have these little lamps all over the butcher. He's got them all over the back. I kind of gave him a little spray to start with the airbrush. Um, but they all have like a little glow and that's what that means off the source so here's the source and here's off here's off the source so so he's got glow on his face coming from these lanterns so we're gonna we're gonna show how to how to do that yeah no one is perfect <laughs> object objects are sliding thank you mickey's my mickey's minis mickey's minis <laughs> um raging again hello and everyone good morning all right let me show them on my space there we go so so i'm looking at this i want to show you guys the um the artwork for this is not the best you can see it's just a lot of dark and some yellow bits and the bones up here and there's a really good reason for that, and that's because when you're doing object source lighting, object source lighting, that means the source lighting is coming from the object, <laughs> that um, you need a huge dark contrasts, or else it's not gonna look like it's really glowing. So he's gonna be very dark. And he's from my, he's a, um, a mini from my home game, so he's um, a personal project, so I don't have to worry too much about getting it perfect, and I can paint him as fast and as loose as I'd like because he's from our own. All right, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Um, so to begin with, I want to just look at, I and mean, you always want to look at the mini. And see, he's got these beautiful axes here, these his butcher's axes. We're gonna want a little bit of gleam and glint from those. Got is that a lantern up there? That might be a lantern up there. There's a whole bunch of lanterns on his back right here. So that whole part, so that whole part of his of his uh, helmet is gonna be lit for the most part. And then a lot of this down here is just gonna be like little glints and gleams. Fast and loose painting, yes, exactly. Um, well, let's just get to it. I've got some on my palette. I've got Scale 75, um, different colors here. I've got black, flat black. This is brown leather, and this is, I think it's African Shadow. Let me double check. Nope, wait. Nope, it's black leather. There's a black leather. It's got a purple tint to it. So, um, I think I'm just going to start with, I'm going to get a different brush because that brush is small. This is my Windsor Newton number one. And I've got the black leather, which is the more purpley color. And I'm just going to go back in here and I'm base coating pretty much. Just getting nice, strong, and a little bit of black mixed with that because I want it to be dark. Without cat hair, so there, got it. 
Speaking of cats, I can hear my cat. He's like, like crawling at his bowl. So all this back here needs to be painted. I didn't actually get it with the airbrush, which is fine. It's already looking cool with that color. Keep it on my mark. If if I if I get off a little bit off screen, please feel free to tell me. Like I said, this is a brand new camera angle I'm trying out, so I can maybe see what I'm doing a little better. Yep, no, this isn't Kingdom De Death Resin Raging. This is um, Fast and Loose. It's not what comes to mind. Okay, you. <laughs> uh, this is plastic. This is from my our home game because um, I think streaming my Kingdom Death miniatures is about the only way I'm going to be able to get this stuff done so we can play. We've actually already encountered the Butcher, I think. Did we encounter him? I'm pretty sure we did. I would not want to encounter him again. But this way, if we do, he's set to go. Anywhere, like, we're going to move up here where we're glowing. And again, I'm just base coating, so it seems like if you've ever seen James Wapple, he does what we call shaded base coating. And I kind of think that works really well for me too. You avoid resin like the plague. Okay. I don't mind resin. Um, can I just take a minute? I'm going to show you guys. Last night I was working on the um, resin bard. Where'd she go? Oh no. I put her somewhere now. I, want, I was going to show you guys. Oh, by the way, I want to show you real quick that I got Nimue finished. Let's see if I can take her off. Got a little stick tack under there. So you can see Nimue. She came out nice. So we're going to be doing this mini. And I got the little highlights in her hair. Oh, you know what? I still have to finish that. We'll do. I'll do that another time. Um, There's the bard. Here she is. You can see how she's coming out. She's almost done. There's just like little bits and stuff I've got to do to her base. Maybe some stuff to the back here. But yeah, I'll, I'll show you her art card for everybody who likes Kingdom Death. Pretty close. And, and I, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a tiny bit of off-source lighting right here where her little, she's got some little potions or something. Oh, let me catch up with chat. You guys are going pretty fast on me. Hey, Fen. You're just showing your friend your stream. I should probably have something on camera, shouldn't I? While you're at a shop. Awesome. Hey, friend of Fen. Not too bad, raging. Okay, the angle's better. Okay, next time a little higher. Thank you, Flick. <laughs> Yeah, you did in year four. Okay, yeah, I'm in year 11 now. Exactly. Thank you. Aw, uh, don't weep. <laughs> weep openly. <laughs> um, also, just to, while I'm showing off, I, uh, I finished this, um, what's her name? Um, she is the um, resin... Um, Canonus Viridian. 
from Warhammer. She came out pretty cool. I still need to put basing on her and stuff. Hey, Odokrok. Welcome. So what do you think of that? I guess she's pretty close to being done. Yeah, just mostly the base. Yeah, I'm just showing off, Doc. Just like, these are some commissions that I've been working on. Oh my god, the dramatic music. Guys, it means I gotta start painting now. Boom, boom. <laughs> if anybody who hasn't been in my stream before hasn't heard this, this is my dramatic theme music. It's intense. It means like intensity. Yeah. You only found out this model existed a couple days ago. Ordered one, have a print hanging up with John Blatt. Yeah, you know what? Um, I found out that it's limited edition. And my client said, you know, hey, can you find one of these for me? And I was like, oh my gosh, it's like almost $60, $70 on eBay. And I knew if I didn't get one quickly that it'd be even more. So I said, you know what, let me just try to go to my local game store and see if they have it. And they did. And I was like, thank goodness, because it was really a lot less expensive at the game store. So various browns and purples here. Just like the art card. And whispers from Mike. Oh. Thank you. I put the I have put OBS muted. Uh oh. Hold on one second. No? Nothing's muted. Pull the mic closer. That's what I need to do. All right. Can you hear me better, guys? Hold on one second. Let me fix technical difficulties with dramatic music. All right. We're only hearing the music through the mic. Can you hear me now? You guys can hear me? <laughs> I'll get closer. Alright, I don't know. We'll see. The music isn't coming through your... The music isn't coming through my stream feed. That's weird, huh? Let me try something. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> Try. Hmm. I don't know. Music could go up five to ten percent. Hopefully, it doesn't work. Is that better? We hope. We only hear through my speakers. When I look directly at it, it's better. But where it is now, more sufficient. Okay. Sorry, guys. Does that seem like it's a little better now? I'm looking. <laughs> Not VCL. You need to make sure the default output isn't muted. Nothing's muted. My husband is like yelling at me through whispers. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. Nope. That's probably what he yelled at me about right there. Sorry, Mike. I have something muted. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, is this good enough for you? Would you guys rather have no music at all? Does it bother you to kind of hear it off and on? <laughs> music fail. Yeah, I always have some kind of techni technical difficulty when Mike's not here. I always, you know, try to do my best, but I don't really know how his computer works. And, uh, well, you guys can see, okay? And you can hear me, right? Okay, no problem here for you. All right. Like I said, I, I try. Kill the music. You sound fine without it. No problem. We can hear you. You can paint. It's all good. Kill the music. I'm just going to leave it so I can hear it. Maybe you can hear it through my speakers. All right. <laughs> I don't want to waste all my painting time fooling around. Especially when you guys can see. There we go. Yeah, spin, <laughs> spin this stream fixing a minor sound problem. Exactly. I know. We'll get all of this. This is going to have metal on it by the time I finish. But for now, I want a thin, it's obviously a thin glaze. So the point of this entire stream is off object source lighting. So we want to get this mini at least to a, a starting point so that you guys can know what I'm talking about. And I don't know if you can tell, but just here as I'm um, as I'm adding the darkness, you can tell like the, the yellow is getting brighter. And that's what we want. <laughs> All right, I'll turn it off. Let's see. Mike says to turn the music off. Here we go. Pause it. Sorry guys. He says it's really bad. There. Butcher, this is Hey the Real Book King. Welcome. You're painting him. Um, all of this gets a little bit of light, so I'm not gonna paint that one dark just yet. Um, alright, so we got a lot base coated now. Oh, we gotta get this part back here. Just a bit, just a bit. Letting some of the light of that airbrush show through. Oh, and that's part two. Aw, <laughs> ads playing. So some news for the channel is that I recently got um, an emote made because I know that tr Twitch is planning on letting affiliates like myself eventually have emotes, which is going to be really cool. And I've got one that says, That's pretty. I'm still working on it. It's, um, the designer sent me the first renditions, and they, um, they look really cool, except for the fact that it's difficult to read them. So we're going to work on that. But I'm pretty stoked, and I think you guys will be impressed once I get them all done. Right here. Oh, wow, thank you so much for the cheer, Charles Fox. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate the support. Um, if you didn't know, affiliates 
with Twitch, which like I said, I am one, now can get cheers. And um, that you can get cheers by either buying packs of Twitch commodities, which is the Twitch uh, bits, or you can watch ads and, and gain bits that way as well. Okay, I'm trying to get the right consistency for this half the axe. There we go. We're just coloring it right now. The emote is, yeah, the emote is going through quality assessment. Flickster is helping me. Um, a couple other people have been giving me feedback. It's nice to get um, a different opinion on things because the um, everybody's monitors look a little different. Everybody has different sizes. It'd probably be good to have somebody look at it through their phone. Okay, he's ready to go, I think. Um, so I'm going to do the object source lighting very last because it's going to be the brightest color. But we need to leave a lot of this other thing. Now, one of the things I want is some pretty deep shadows, even though it's right next to the light. You have to think, where is the shadow going to be? So like for here, this little lamp is lighting some of the bottom of that. So that is going to light the top of that. You have to think about where your shadows are, where your light is coming from. And it looks the best when it's super dark. I'm going to get in under here where this, because it's going to, these, these lamps are going to also cast bright shadows. Am I streaming again today? Uh, oh, that's Flick. <laughs> Flickster is a streamer, fellow streamer. He is also my mod. You should give him a follow so that way you can find out He'll get, you get alerts about when he's going to be streaming. All right, all this, this is like some kind of boars or some kind of monster's face. Give me one second while I get some bone colored material. I'm going to use Sahara yellow. When do I do the whip gallery again? Um, again, that's going to be on a Wednesday night. It's going to be when a Mike and I can get something together so that he can, you know, click back and forth on the galleries page so that you guys can um, see what it is um, in the gallery. So once we get all the technical stuff fixed, it'll probably be at the, at the end of the month. I don't want to put a lot of pressure. On Tech Mike, he only has my stream once a week, so. Or, you know, once I get also a um, some kind of like dashboard over here, that could be cool. Just adding a tiny bit of this purple to this weird cream slash yellow mix that I've made for the bones. <laughs> oh, you get to go to work at 8 p.m. Okay. Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday is too. Um, like I said, once we get things worked out where I can click back and forth and show off stuff, then we can have, we can move that, the work in progress gallery around a little bit. That'll be um, a lot easier. If I'm able to show, show you guys that. So like I said here, I'm going for high contrasts. 
Hmm, this helmet, I feel like, let me look at this. Work it, okay, so. He actually has a lot of metal on him. I'm, I'm thinking I might go ahead and start painting some of that. I have gold and gold. They make this beautiful decayed metal. It's like a brown gold. It's kind of like my tinny tin. Of course, it's thinner. I'm gonna just check it out and see how that looks with. And of course, it's all the pig, all the metal flakes are at the bottom, so it needs to be needs to be shaken. There we go. That's much better. So I can do things like like this. I'm going to do this um, all in this brown metal and then when we get closer over to the where the light is we're going to go bright with with a different color metal to give you an idea I think I'm GMT minus five or six. I can't remember. I'm on Central Standard Time, which is Chicago time. So if you're in the same time zone, then I stopped putting GMT on my things because uh, I was getting it wrong a lot. <laughs> and then we have daylight savings times and stuff. Oh, this whole thing here is a metal, but we're going to get that. Again, we're going to go back over that with a lighter. Paint stripper video. Ah. Yeah, GMT minus six. Let's see. I think what you're, oh, would be wearing probably a bronze, do you think? Let's do, let's do this one. It's called Negro Gold. It is, it's kind of like a dark, old, old bronzy gold. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely looks like that. So mix that. See how that looks? That is basically our off source lighting, lighting up the bronze of his brown armor. That makes sense? What we did? Yeah, I started at 9 a.m. See? Um, now this whole pig head thing, I'm not sure about this. I think he needs to have bronze or this gold metal through this. There we go. We'll just make it that gold and if it's if we need to darken it later we will and all of this will make gold as well because they feel like there should be metal I suppose they could be bone they're bone in well I guess they're no they're metal we just want them to be scary okay so back here this is darker we're using that darker gold. Ooh. 
Scribble Frost is now following. Thank you so much for following Scribble Frost. Welcome. Hope that you uh, enjoy this stream. We are going to be hopefully teaching everybody about object source lighting. There we go. Yeah, okay. Now I just noticed all of the, just get that like that. This stream is going to be a little different because it's not as planned out as far as some of my other streams. You're, you're basically getting to see me wing it, you know, paint as I go. And that's okay because that's really good for artists to do. The process is a little different. Make beautiful mistakes. All right. So far, I'm happy. Okay. Now, this part here looks like some kind of chain. I'm just going to underline here with the black. Uh, it's lit, so it needs to be needs to be shaded first. And then kind of dry brushed, I'm guessing. So I think we're going to go in here with this dark purpley color. We'll go ahead and dry brush over it in a little bit and I'll show you what I mean by dry brush. It's not it's not what you think. Happy little accidents. Yes, exactly, redhead. That's exactly right. Okay. We need some silver metallic. There we go. This is thrash metal. It's sort of an old, dirty metallic color. Okay. Now, I've wiped most of this paint back off because this is the quote unquote dry brush time, but eh, it might actually be a little too wet to do what I want to do. No, it's working. Okay, good. Just little bits like that. Now you want to paint your butcher. <laughs> you know, I think of all the Kingdom Death models, he might be one of the easier ones just because of how he doesn't have a lot of stuff going on. What is all this? This Hold on, let me take a look. Sometimes, ooh, it's a face, gross, okay. Yep, he's got basically what amounts to a, some kind of creepy face buckle. A face belt buckle. Um, let, me sh let me show you guys this. I'm going to use a walnut high scale 75 to bring that out. Yes, it's the skin of someone's face. Ew. <laughs> he wrecks the face. He wrecks face. Yeah, he does. I was not happy with him when we fought him. This is, you gotta see this. Okay, here. All right. Now you guys see it? It's, it's like stretched across him. And there's another one over here, but it's not as obvious. Super gross. <laughs> Cat hair is not an emote. I'm gonna flip tables. <laughs> I don't 
don't know. We'll see. Do you think I... I don't know. That would get her. That would be funny. Is that an emote that you want to be able to have and, and use in this channel? <laughs> okay. I mean, darkness to darkness. Paint is drying on my palette. This is not cool. Okay, we're gonna make this little face darker. Let me see something. Sometimes I just can't see what's going on. Okay. At least the face is smiling. <laughs> A Siamese twin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, that's entirely likely. Could be. I'm just, um, there we go. <laughs> I need to mix a little bit of black with that metal of color I've got so that I can make it darker. And let's see, so, so this hatchet or whatever he's got here, this butcher's knife, make that nice and bright right there. And it's okay if it's a little bit scrubby looking right there. <laughs> it is smiling. <laughs> Show she cat hair best emote. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking on the bright side. You just got a very tiny, very, very tiny all black kitten rescue. Awesome. Does it have a name yet? Have I painted any of the survivors? Yeah, I've just painted all the only survivors I've painted have been the intimacy survivors and the what else did I paint? The the, the four starting survivors. And I, I think I've got some some of the armor sets like built but not primed. That will be for later. Snowball. <laughs> Snowball two. Now, can you see how I left the blade there dark? Because it is not getting light. This bit is, though. And to, trying not to leave brush strokes. Nice little quiet stream today, huh? There we go. 
Now I need that little. I just added some black to that silver that I have. So that way, or not black, it was purple, purple. And this is the part where I need to carefully blend because I don't want this whole thing to be shiny, just this part of it. You see how I did that with my hand? <laughs> KDM figures are all about the OSL. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Um, let's see if I can get a little bit of this. Um, carefully painted. Okay. You can use your imaginations to paint them like it's not like pitch black. Yeah, exactly. So, hmm, we need some more of that like bone color. Because I want the dark to be predominant it needs to be um I lost my train of thought <laughs> it needs to be just you know kind of a a hint of what we've got going on here just to suggest that this is not metal. This is a, a good model to paint like in a fast way on a stream because of the streams. Yeah, don't spoil. Most, some of the most amazing paint jobs have been with all the dark, without all the dark, no light theme. Yeah, exactly. Do I commission for armies or just low model count? Um, Raging again, basically what I do is I'm the gal that gets, you know, you get to paint those special characters, your, um, small small skirmish sets like infinity or you know those kinds of things uh i'm not into painting lots of the same dude over and over and over again so yeah that's that's better left to uh someone else and i did that for a reason so that i wouldn't wouldn't have burnout because i want to be able to paint for a long time I'm going to take a closer look at this real quick. All right. I feel like I need a wash on this just so I can see what I'm doing. Well, I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade because it will get me some of these golden colors and shadows that I need. Agrax Earthshade is by Citadel. Yeah, that was exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to 
hit those shadows without losing my lights or my brush. I dropped my brush. Oh my God. Uh, on the way to the floor. Now there's going to be lots of cat hair. Up. <laughs> uh, rinse, 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 rinse. Permission to post link of what are you wanting to post a link of? Peeps want be background music. Oh, okay. Um, sure, you can post a link to background music if you want. And the real big king is asking me, will I post this to the KDM Facebook page? Pretty sure. Oh, you know, I've never. I don't usually post stuff to KDM, but I always tag them. I always tag them when I'm, when I post them, you know, so I'm sure he sees a lot of my stuff because I'm always tagging them and things. I've never had any sort of reaction from the company, so let's do this. Ooh, I love it. So pretty. Ah, did you see what that did? That's just Agrax Earthshade and a little primer. And I'm just super happy with it and not probably going to mess with it a whole lot. What kind of brushes do I use? Hey, Jiggle. I use Winsor Newton. I use a little bit of everything. I use a new, I just started getting this new brush. It's called Rubloff. It's a Kalinsky from Russia. R-O-U-B-L-O-F-F. -F. And these are the 1010s. I also have the 1110s. Both are good. Um, I got them on Amazon and, and one of the, the 1010, or the 10, 1110s, I had a friend from Poland send me. So, but like I said, they're from Russia. Doesn't want to stay in that little pocket right there where the, I'm just going to paint it a little bit more. We'll go back and mess with it some more in a bit. Yeah, this is a Winsor Newton Sable. This is the number one. And I'm really behind on chat. Give me one second. Let's see. Mickey's Minis asks me, have I seen Tommy Soul's painting of Katie Flower Knight? I have not. He's also your painting tutor. That's awesome. Okay, let's see. 7500 a brush in Australia? No. <laughs> really? Only one retailer. And that's when you get an American friend or a British friend. Actually, a British friend is probably even better because I think your Brit to Aus postage is a lot less. Um, yeah. Okay, I think I'm caught up on chat now. <laughs> I'm just seeing little areas. It's, I can't tell. I think this is like other people's hair, maybe, that he's got. Or is this fur? Not sure. It's creepy, though, huh? He's just covered in um, all kinds of parts and we're just, I'm just going to just give it a quick little thing to suggest. 
He's got a saw that I just found. Ooh, scary. That is that is frightening right there. Yep. So painting so many dark objects that are one on top of each other is not easy. Oof. Over here, he's got another little pouch of some kind. Okay, do you guys see how that, that lantern is looking super bright? I barely had to do anything to it now. I do have not sure if I'm going to do anything to it or not. Let me see. I'm going to go over here. And anywhere that light is shining from that spot, I'm going to be adding a bright color right there, yeah. See, that's all coming from that particular light source, and it's sort of coming lit, lit from below. Same thing with his face mask here. And I'm just going to make that slightly more yellow. Same thing over here, these. Nice. J.S. Rapiso, 1982, is now following. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. We're painting the Kingdom Death Butcher, who is getting scarier and scarier by the moment. Um, so I'm noticing over here he's got some fur. So I'm just going to add my lights now. And then I'm going to go over it with a lighter, with a darker color, rather. There. It's starting to look cool already. I mean, it's kind of weird how fast he's painting. I got this. Oh, wait. I know what I want to use. This is Hard Fire by P3. Yeah, Doc Croc, um, we will have a gallery once a month where we can show off other people's work. But um, for most of the rest of the streams, it's just we're not going to allow those for now. Part of it is just kind of help keep um, keep down advertising and, and uh, stuff like that from the stream. So I'm just, so this, that, that is the yellow that I needed right there. I'm 
This is the glow. Fighting him in the in the game adds a huge amount to how scary he is. Yeah, I agree. Um, he is not a fun adversary. Well, I take that back. He's fun, but he's he is a pain. He's not friendly. How's that? None of them are. <laughs> okay, so over here we're gonna go with this more brown, I think, for the fur. And then some of that yellow again, just a little bit of closer. There we go. This is sort of our mid-tone between the dark dark and that gold or that blonde, the yellow. <laughs> Wait, people actually afford to play the real game. I got a deal on my board game because my friend had ordered one, or she had had somebody, somebody ordered one for her. She said she doesn't know how she got it. She said it could have been, she might have even ordered it in her sleep. Anyway, she doesn't remember. And I need that gold back down here. There we go. Oh, that's so nice. I love it. I'm torn over on this side because as you can see there's a light source back here we need to there we go some of these lanterns I dropped it there we go Not everything on this model is going to be exactly right. And a big part of that is because I didn't plan it out. <laughs> It'll be all right. He's starting to look really neat, though. He looks a little. Let's look at the. Um, Look at that. He's starting to get there, huh? That's helping me, actually. I could go up here with um, sort of a dirty bone color instead. Let me see if I can find one. Naz Nacar? Nasar? Nacar. Oh my goodness, I gotta catch up on chat. <laughs> Mr. Voorhees, yes, that's who he is, isn't it? You like the scheme? I just am using the the scheme from from the art just sometimes I it helps me not have to think about stuff so this is that this is a bone color I don't know how this is gonna go oh yeah actually that's going well oh 
Hold on, I gotta look close. Okay, he's got little teeths. Little teeths. I will show you right here. And a little tusk. Paint all these tusks a nice standout color like this bone, Nacar. <laughs> Called mini buying bick outs. What's a bick out? Oh, cons put yourself in a buying blackout mode and then the fallout, the mini game is announced. Oh, yeah. Lotus Cobra, did you, did you not budget? <laughs> you flick goes innocently online and then you black out a week later and a whole bunch of minis arrived. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like we have some some miniature addicts in the chat, huh? Just a little. That's funny. There's some little funny, weird teeth up here, too. And I'm just getting the skull the right color. I can go back in with the Agrax Earth shade when I'm done. And keep all my shadows that way. I feel like that needs to be dark back down there. That needs to be much darker. Yeah, it did need to be darker. Look at that. Contrast. <laughs> Isn't your wife supposed to stop you? Is that how it works? In our house, it doesn't work like that because we enable each other. Because we're both, uh, well, I take the back. It works like that when, uh, when I wanna, when I wanna buy something. I don't usually veto Mike. So I know most of the time there's going to be something I want. So it's just better to let him have stuff. That's how you do it. All right, there's all kinds of good claws and skulls and goodies back here. I think I'm going to just go in there with my Agrax Earth Shade again so I can define all that without having to uh, mess stuff up too badly. Yeah, Did I just drop my brush almost, almost. There we go. See, we preserve our lights this way. Our lights, get it? Contrast is a lie. No, contrast is 
is what makes minis look good. See, it's already looking good. We just need more agrax or shade for him. Cause it's gonna save me time. And for all my Kingdom Death minis, finished, not perfect, is my number one rule. Finished, not perfect. Because I have more minis coming than I'll ever know what to do with. Right? You guys all know what that's like. And I just don't have time to mess around because I got commissions and I feel like this needs to be browner a little bit of gold on it to mimic the fact that light is glowing this dark coat but it's still dark it's just more golden Redhead says uh, he's pretty sure that if you were to buy any more minis at this time, no one would ever hear from you again. <laughs> and oh, and Fence painting them faster than he's acquiring them. How are you managing that? That's impressive. Tell us that secret, Fen. Are you just focusing? Is that what's happening? And uh, Real Bug King says when he were into historicals, really heavy. He had a good friend whose basement would have been a great fallout shelter due to all the lead in there. Haha. <laughs> Keep all the radiation away. Okay. Is anybody, are you guys getting the idea of how we are preserving these lights? I think I need more of that gold yellow when we get closer to the, there we go. Closer to the lamps, I want it to be more gold. That's why I'm using that one P3 color. For some reason, scale 75 doesn't have the greatest yellow. Are you listening, Scale 75? We need a better yellow. Okay, all this back here, which does not have a lot of, does not have a lot of lamps at all, actually. So there's going to be a lot more darkness back here. Malias, oh my goodness, thank you so much for the host. Malias is an amazing streamer. Welcome, everyone. We're painting Kingdom Death. We're painting OSL, which is object source lighting. Follow Malias. He is an amazing painter. I follow him on Instagram also. I appreciate all of the support and the uh, hosts, guys. All right. So what we did earlier was now we're looking for pockets of shadow. So that's going to be underneath 
lanterns on the sides where there's not. Oh, the Pixel Pirate is now following. Thank you so much for following, Pixel Pirate. All of this is just like lots of wet on wet paint. Ons bueno, Ons Buno, Ons Buno, Ons Buno. I think that's how I say it. Thank you so much for the follow. On top of lanterns sometimes, and on the bottoms of lanterns, it's going to be the darkest. I'm using. I should be using purple, not. Not black. Black has actually some green tones in it that won't look aesthetically pleasing. So that's why I have this, um, see, look at this. It's a purple. And it's actually looking really nice with all the brown tones that I've got also. Let me catch up on chat. We just had a whole bunch of people join us. Fen, the mid-tone yellows annoy you. The colors are nice, but the coverage is not great. Are you talking about mine, or are you talking about your own, Fen? If it's annoying you, um, it's because it's still wet. I haven't gotten to going back on it. Um, good morning, Nikki. Nikki Coles is another awesome streamer. You can give a follow, too. She's, she's a painter, a mini painter as well. Uh-oh. Mickey Minis. No, I have not tried war colors. And from what I've seen from some of my friends demoing them and showing them, I don't think I would like them because they are they're very thinly pigmented. So I mean I already I like to be able to have a lot of good coverage if I if I need it. So that light is coming from this lantern. You're always looking at where stuff's, where light is coming from. And um, something you gotta think about that you, the light is actually a, just a small sphere around the lantern itself. So don't get caught up in doing this huge glow. Because more than likely not, more than likely, it won't be accurate. We're getting there. We're getting there. He's definitely looking lit. Friend again, painting UK. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. I appreciate the support. I'm going to paint. I just realized I got some skulls back here that do probably have some dark shadows, like these eyes and stuff. Trying to get them. All right. Ben says, my scale 75 yellows. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I'm not. This is the only, this is the only scale 75 yellow that I've got. I don't have one. Look at the difference. I don't know if you can tell, but this has, um, actually, no, that's not the yellow that I wanted to show you. Io, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. This is what I wanted to show you. There, there's no color in scale 75 that looks like this. And I don't really have a good orange. Maybe, maybe a little yellow and a little red, but it still would not be as beautiful as this. This is this has like it's almost more toward the primary, primary yellow. I might even have a little bit of green tones in it. Whereas this heart fire is just this most beautiful. Look at this. And look at how that looks next to that purple too. It's just got enough orange in it to be really beautiful and complimentary. And then it has, let me see if I can show you. 
So if we go in here and make all of our little glowing lamps, it makes a difference. Okay, I want to show you this right here. This this part I'm going to be I'm going to put in my my little glow. Now this is the part that is important to watch. And it's I'm going to take that purple and let's see. There is a filigree on the top, which I need to, because you're. it's basically going to be backlit. So I, I need to carefully go in here. That's hard to do from this distance, guys. So Pixel Pirate says they're very thin paints, good for airbrush and glaze blending. And Mickey says war colors, one coat paints solve the pigment issue. Yeah, the problem, the other problem is picks, uh, Mickey's Minis is that I have so much paint. Um, I have a ton of, I have both sets of, um, I have both sets of Scale 75. I have the entire line of P3. I have, what else? Reaper Miniatures. I've got so much stuff, guys. And it's just, you got to prioritize when you've got so much paint. And yeah. Oh, that's a lantern. All right. So watch this. We've got to go back in. I didn't even notice that that was a lantern. I guess it could be burnt out. That's going to change quite a bit. Because that's going to actually put a light on this. James Wapple had a Kickstarter for tutorial videos. Yeah, he did. But he, yeah, that. <laughs> Kickstarter and um, you just have to be so careful when you're doing those. Not to give away too many rewards. There's a piece of paint right there. There we go. I got it. And it goes back. I didn't. There we go. <laughs> you find their lack of golden orange yellows disturbing. <laughs> I could add a little red um, and a slight touch of green. I don't. Let's try it. I will show you what might happen. I just don't think it's going to work, especially if you mix red and the red, the green. It's not going to happen. So I have this Alderan red, and I have Ontario's red. I think Ontario's red is is going to give us closer to what we want. I'm going to use their Soul Yellow. I hope that it's mixed enough. Yep, it is. I'm going to show you what happens when we mix these two. We're not going to get a golden yellow. Okay, so we just want the tiniest. Well, that's close. My goodness, that's close. Let's see. But 
you know that when you're commission painting, who wants to mix a bunch of paint? That's pretty dang close. Look at that. And then here is, here's the heart fire from P3. Do you see, there is a difference. Look at that. That is, that is more, I don't even know how to describe it, but that is more an intense color. And that's, this is duller, it's already drying and you can see it's drying duller. Let's just do a few layers so we can see. I think, I think it is close. Let's add more yellow. Uh, okay. I'm satisfied. I think it's close enough. All right, fair enough. Good. That was a good experiment. I'm glad I learned that. Although, <laughs> nice to have everything in one paint that you can just reach for sometimes. Let's see how this looks on here. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I still think I'm going to use some more of this P3 though. Yeah, it's about having consistent supply. It really helps otherwise. Yeah, because if I want to mix that color, I might have to have a whole bottle of it if I want to have it the same everywhere. There's more faces stretched across some of these lamps. That's so gross. Let's see if I can do something. Let's do... A brown. That one's going to need Agrax or shade, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of base lamps going on. Look at this one. Super gross. want just a little bit more glow up here. He's getting there though. Isn't he cool? This whole back half of his area needs to be dark again. enough. You got in the habit of mixing on the fly. If you practice a lot of color matching, it's pretty, yeah, I have a really good eye for color, so I can mix colors really well. It's just that I get lazy when I'm commission painting. <laughs> Yeah, filigree is a pain. It's right on that light source back here. Hold on. Sometimes it's... 
easier to paint the negative space. That's something I'm definitely going to have to go in and try to capture. black helped. Let's see if this bone There we go. Creepy, creepy. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and add a little light to these skulls here in a minute. Some golden light. Hmm, okay. When, I'm gonna go in there with the Agrax again. looks good and I want to say I've got some purple somewhere where is it it is one of the it's like duty violet I think is what the name of it is and of course it's not where I can find it there it is <laughs> I have a big old blob of sticky tack on there. Druchy Violet. Let's see if this looks okay. It might muddy things a little bit, but we'll we'll give it a shot and try it. It is not as Ooh, see that that is pretty. That's what I needed. I hope that that stays as nice looking as it does. Purple and yellow are opposite on the color wheel. So they usually look very striking. You can get, they can get muddy if you aren't careful. Hmm. And I still think, let's see what this looks like. I don't know if this is going to look good or not. Eh. No. No, 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 no. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. Beautiful mistakes. Beautiful mistakes. It'll, it'll be all right. It gives us something to work with when we go back in there and lighten it up again. It's weird because the lore, the lamps are meant to be extinguished, but in the artwork, they're all lit up. Yeah. That's all right. Hello, Drenee. How are you? <laughs> Hello and good evening. <laughs> Butcher existed in the game and Lachman Lamb did the art also prior to the lore being developed. That makes sense. Hey, Mort. Welcome to the stream. Did I get a host that I didn't notice? A whole bunch of people just joined. Anastasia Phantom. Von Grunk. Welcome, everybody. So I feel like I need more little glints of metal in places. So I think that is what I'm going to do. 
that will look kind of cool. We're using, we'll use the dark metal in some spots and the light metal in others. Ooh, that doesn't want to stick. That's okay. Let it dry. Sometimes Scale 75 reacts to my wet palette in a funky ways. I like the little metal here. There we go. Yeah, the real bug king. I've been I've been noticing the stretched faces. I'm just not sure how I would paint that because this is basically, you know, a sort of a speed paint. And in order to really make those stretch faces look like stretch faces, I, I don't know how I would do that. So if you have any ideas, I am open. <laughs> think of a house party and five clowns pull up things won't end well right Okay, he's got some blades on his feet. Mm, before that, I'm gonna go in and touch this up. A little bit of ivory. Some tusks. There's some little teeth back here. That works good. Paint them as you would normal skin. I'll be removed skin and then shade the edges almost to black to force the contrast. All right, I will try. Um, let's pick a face. How about this one? So, hmm, okay, I need a flesh tone. I don't know what removed flesh, what color is removed flesh, you know? So let's try this. I got, Yeah, that's not working too well. Eh. Mm. 
needs to be okay. let's try the I don't know how this is going to go. Eh. It sort of works, sort of. My fail as a painter right now. Your idea is good. <laughs> There's another face. I feel like it needs to be brown and then we'll lighten it with the flesh. Because it's still sort of backlit in a way, right? That seems better, doesn't it? It tiny bit. S33 in Hyde. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. We're trying to get the, uh, this is a little weird. This, so like Kingdom Death is horror. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And we're just trying to get this little bitty skin face or whatever to, to show up. It's going to work, right? I mean, it's supposed to be leathery looking, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't have GIMP. I don't have any kind of Photoshop either, so. Usually more pale than healthy and add some greens to make it look sickly. I don't want to change my color my color composition here. It's all this nice complementary color scheme with the red, the yellows and the purples and green won't look good to me in that. If you ever want to practice painting removed flesh, look up the greater damned one. Yeah. Hello, Grendler. Things are going okay. <laughs> How fresh. I don't want it fresh. It's been there forever. He's a he's a great butcher who has been collecting collecting lamps for eons. So Grendler, we're painting this butcher right here. And I just need to look at something real quick. Hmm. I don't know what that is. We'll just make it fur. Um so he is there we go. Psyka 037, thank you so much for following Psyka. I wonder, are you the same Psyka that's on Instagram who has the kitties? And if so, I am a huge fan of your cats and your photography. <laughs> Welcome. Browns are all good. Flesh would be more pinkish, I agree. Gimp is free. It is free, but I can't. I just, mm, it does not, it's not user friendly whatsoever. And I just, that is, I feel like it's mocking me by calling me Gimp. You know? <laughs> I do have sort of a um, photo pro sh uh, 
that doesn't work too bad. I'm getting really happy. This, I mean, even if, like, I just put him down on the board right now. I think he'd be, you know, good enough. Let's do this face up here and see what we can make it. We'll use browns and a little bit of that flesh. Yeah, another one up here. Creepy. Different Psyka, okay. Well, <laughs> that's okay. Now, we need, I've got just a smidge of white. I don't, I don't know how this is gonna work, but we'll try this. On some of the lanterns. where we want. See how that's tipping? So that's gonna have that glow at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Paint up the regeneration suit from the Gorm. That's some good gimp action. <laughs> That's true. Oh, Saika, if you just use your OS 37, I think it'll be okay. Because the other Saika, um, I don't know, just use a Psyka. I just put a little bit of that hot yellow from scale 75 over the white and it came out nice. Just gonna get a few little bright pieces of, there we go, highlighting. Oh, my crying kitty. Speaking of cats, my cat makes an appearance to the stream every now and then. Okay. Getting there, we're getting there. Hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, Bob. It'd be translucent. So that's why I was trying to figure out I almost need to look at look at images of lampshades in order to get it right. And um, like I said, this is just a speed paint, so we're not gonna get too deep into it. Pretty happy with them so far though, gosh.
What, you? I'm going back over this part because I wasn't super happy with how that bone looks on top of that. When you don't like it, paint over it. Make the happy mistakes. Mm hmm so what's left what do you guys see anything that I need to still go over mm hmm let's do a few little metallic pieces here and there Get all these little dark spots down here that would not even have any light at all. Oh, I know what I was going to do is boots. Thanks for stopping by, Mini, Mickey's Minis. I really appreciate you coming and chatting with us. To not rot the skin it need to be tanned or dried in some way. So that's what I was, that's why I kind of did this one in sort of browns. Yeah. Thank you so much for the host, Flickster. Welcome. Well, not welcome, you, you've been here the whole time, but thanks for the three people who are, you're hosting, welcome to them. Yusefi, hello. Google stretch skin leather. It's a great surprise. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Sounds like a, a fun thing to, to look at in the morning, huh? Just do a quick little hit. Just hitting all the highlights of this just to make sure to to get him. He does he does have actual hands. Which means that I can give him just a little bit. A little bit of skin tone anyway. Make them more brown though, because of the color scheme and the darkness. Because skin wouldn't look that bright. If my mod, Flickster, would be able to help me find someone to host, or if ProtoMaker is looking, if 
If you guys can help me find somebody to host, I would really appreciate it. And then send me a whisper. Or, yeah, send me a whisper so I can find out who it is that I could host. Because we're going to be ending the stream in about 10 minutes and we're going to, maybe we could raid them. You're not followed. Oh, Traverian, I've been auto-hosting you this whole time. And you didn't even have me followed. <laughs> lies, all lies. Looks like... Chinkuza might be somebody we could we could follow or host. Does that sound like a good idea? Trevarian is now following. Welcome to my stream, Trevarian. Trevarian here is somebody who I auto host on a regular basis. He is an amazing painter. And so I'm super honored to have him follow me today. <laughs> good times. He is, um, he's a sculptor, fantastic sculptor. Yeah. We're gonna get ready to, to drop some people on Chinkuza here. Um, so that's my speed painted butcher for you guys. Um, other than, let's see, I might drop a little bit of bright, Shining. Fraggled is now hosting my stream for one viewer. Thank you so much, Fraggled. That, that is appreciated. We are getting ready to end the stream here in a minute. I'm just adding a few sharp highlights to Mr. Mr. Bateman. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And look at it because it's so dark, it comes off as really shiny. There we go. Good enough, good enough. So why don't we do this? So we're gonna raid Chinkuza. Chinkuza. And we're gonna, let's see if I can get this typed here. So we're gonna do like an emote, like a heart. And then we'll do mad incoming, or how about like incoming love from Shoshi's Minis. I'm gonna type this for you guys to cut and copy. Okay, so cut and copy that, and then when I host him, you guys are gonna paste that into his chat. You're gonna be in his chat, and um, make sure you jump over there. Yeah, exactly, that's a test. <laughs> oh, I spelled Shoshi's minis wrong. Hold on, let me try it again. <laughs> yeah, that I, that's always nice to, to be able to spell something right, right? <laughs> Yeah, show sheer, show sir. <laughs> Try it again. All right, incoming love here. Hang on. S H O S H I E S. M I N I S. All right, try that one. 
There we go. She shines shoes by the she's <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> Somebody spell incoming right for me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm typing on my iPad. Oh my goodness. I know, right? It is better, but it's still bad. All right, last one. Last try. In coming. Let's make sure there's a space. From Shoshi's Minis. There. The real the real bug king got it right. Copy his copy his <laughs> Copy the real bug king's um yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead here and and uh I'm going to host the wait, yeah, I'm going to host Kitchen Kuza. <laughs> Give me one second here. Let's try this. All right, are we ready? Oh, what's too late? Oh no, Eve. <laughs> We're gonna go raid Chinkuza. I'm hoping this works. Oh, Flickster's online? Wait, is he? Hold on, let me check. Did he finally come online? I hope I didn't rush him. I don't see him. He's not, he's not, uh... <laughs> Flick is not online just yet. Shall we wait just a little bit more? I can go ahead and paint this base if he's going to be on. Because I got mad love. Flick is, Flick is um, somebody who I'm mentoring. He's a really great uh, painter. I'm just going to paint this base while we wait. Let's see if he comes online. I'll get everything ready. That's funny. Okay. Not quite ready. We got we got plenty of time. So Electric Eve here, she is a fantastic painter. If you like to watch painting, if you are coming to visit me from Facebook, I highly recommend that you follow her. Super cool lady too. <laughs> All right, Flickster is now live, so I'm going to go ahead and host him. Go ahead and copy that um, incoming love from Shoshi's Minis. Copy this. All right, I'm going to host Flickster. Are you guys ready? All right. 